Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. River flow. John 7 verse 37 to 38. Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. I am the first to admit that I am not a happy camper when I camp. I would rather admire the breathtaking scenery of nature from a massive picture window in a cozy hotel room than wrestle with a sleeping bag as I try to make myself comfortable on the hard ground. I prefer a bug-free dining and no matter where I sit around a campfire, the winds inexplicably change in my direction, causing my theme song to be smoke gets in my eyes. I went on camping trips in my childhood without much complaint as long as there was a lake nearby and as long as I was allowed to pack as much reading material as I could carry. I enjoyed swimming and splashing about and I loved to lie on a sandy beach devouring book after book as those were the days before water bottles. I would return to our campsite when I got thirsty. Although I was a child, it never crossed my mind to drink lake water. I mean, it was stale and murky, and it had little appeal to me. To my sensitive nose, most lakes had a bit of a musty odor, probably due to the underwater weeds and slimy algae that grew along less frequented shores. In contrast, I find clear, mountain water cascading down a waterfall irresistible. The sound of a nearby waterfall gives me the incentive to walk down uneven paths in joyful anticipation. As I approach, I become aware of an insatiable thirst. I want to scramble over the rocks and make my way to the water and drink deeply. Mountain streams and rivers are always fresh, always new, alive and breathing, racing down glaciers, across gravelly beds, tumbling down waterfalls, and bringing refreshment wherever they go. Jesus said in John 7 verse 38, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. However, there are many Christians, even in the midst of wonderful worship, great fellowship, and meaty teaching, they allow their souls to become lakes of God's blessings. They don't allow the living waters God has provided to them to flow downstream out of them into the lives of those in greater need. I find the more living water I carry to others, the more I quench my own thirst. As I share the gifts that God has given me, the more I seem to get in return. The more I allow God's fresh living water to flow in me and through me, the more his living water clears away any stagnancy that might be in my spirit. If you've been finding the Christian walk a bit ho-hum or feeling that you don't have much going on and you find everything routine and there isn't anything fresh going on, when was the last time that you poured into the life of somebody else the blessings and the teachings and the insight that the Lord has given you over the years? I have a feeling if you begin to share from your heart all the things that God has done in you and through you, you're going to find your capacity to drink of the fresh living water to expand and you're going to feel that fresh wind of the Spirit.